guess what? When I was a kid, a new snack came on the market and it was called Ringo's and there were times it went somewhere where it's all, oh no Ringo's like a Ringo goes. It was some cavemen cartoons, it was weird. And they were choosing onion flavour and I thought, oh that's nice. Um, not heard or even thought about them for donkey's years. And then I go to the shop near me and um, there's a new flavour of Ringo's. Well, new to me anyway. And these are spicy Thai Ringo's. Now, I'm like, spicy Thai? They may have brought out a salt and vinegar version at some point, I can't remember. Uh, but definitely cheese and onion. Um, ingredients, potato powder, potato starch, wheat flour, wheat flour, vegetable oils, rapeseed, sunflower in various proportions. Spicy Thai flavouring, seasonings, uh, flavour enhancers, monosodium glutamate, disodium, salt and dextrose, uh, chilli peppers, onion powder, potassium chloride, yeast extract, and seed cloves, uh, tomato powder, uh, citric acid, parsley, chilli powder. Good news is, there's a little bit of spice as well, but the good news is there be no, no, um, palm oil, which is a good thing because we don't like palm oil. So, obviously it was one pound for a pack, 40 grams in the pack. Um, good thing about these things is the fact that they they kind of give you that fat overload that you don't need um, without actually getting full. Uh, it says there, 7% of your fat intake, but that's for half a pack. Who has half a pack? I'm preparing for 40% of my fat intake. So there you go, that's what they look like. In fact, I haven't even looked at them yet. I'll tell you something. Well, they don't look very ringoy, but they definitely look spicy. There's a ringo one. That is a ringo. Stuck a, stuck a few, but there is definitely a kick of spice going on. Back of throat. Actually quite nice. The light, crunchy, got that spice, not too much, but again, like I say, back of my throat, uh, top of my mouth, I can feel it. Look at that one. That one's definitely a spicy one. <laughs> so they don't lose a point for having um, palm oil in, because there isn't any. Which is good. So I'm going to give these. Hmm. I'm going to give them four stars out of five, which is good. It's nice to see uh, Golden Wonder still going, because they were the uh, the massive Chris company when I was a kid, and then this new kid on the block come along called Walkers. It was Golden Wonder and Smiths. Smiths was ever eventually bought by Walkers, but Golden Wonder still going. Oh, suitable for vegans. Very well hidden, isn't it? It says it there. Suitable for vegans. Because you've made it more obscure. Anyway, yeah. Uh, don't forget, I do loads of reviews. Uh, you can always subscribe, check out the other reviews, and whatever the playlist I put there as well. And I will see you again next time. Thanks for watching. Until then.